Chapter 5 of The Colour of Life. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Colour of Life by Alice Maynell. Chapter 5 The Honours of Mortality. The brilliant talent which has quite lately and quite suddenly arisen to devote itself to the use of the day or of the week in illustrated papers the enormous production of art in black and white is assuredly a confession that the honours of mortality are worth working for fifty years ago men worked for the honours of immortality these were the commonplace of their ambition they declined to attend to the beauty of things of use that were destined to be broken and worn out and they looked forward to surviving themselves by painting bad pictures so that what to do with their bad pictures in addition to our own has become the problem of the nation and of the householder alike to-day men have begun to learn that their sons will be grateful to them for few bequests art consents at last to work upon the tissue and the china that are doomed to the natural and necessary end destruction and art shows a most dignified alacrity to do her best daily for the process and for oblivion doubtless this abandonment of hopes so large at once and so cheap costs the artist something nay it implies an acceptance of the inevitable that is not less than heroic and the reward has been in the singular and manifest increase of vitality in this work which is done for so short a life fittingly indeed does life reward the acceptance of death inasmuch as to die is to have been alive there is a real circulation of blood-quick use brief beauty abolition recreation the honour of the day is forever the honour of that day it goes into the treasury of things that are honestly and completely ended and done with and when can so happy a thing be said of a lifeless oil painting who of the wise would hesitate to be honourable for one day one named and dated day separate from all other days of the ages or to be for an unlimited time tedious end of chapter two